Thanks for joining us today on our adventure to the beautiful southern BC city of Nelson, located in the Selkirk Mountains on the west arm of the picturesque Kootenay Lake. This is definitely one of those out of my comfort zone flights. While much of it follows an established VFR route, part of it takes us through a fairly long section of remote wilderness mountain valley which stretches from the Kananaskis Lakes down to the town of Elk Point, BC. The landing path at the Nelson Airport also features a dogleg approach from both directions and is situated in a fairly narrow and steep valley. It's nothing dangerous, it's just something I've never done before, and to be honest, I'm a little nervous about it. So far we've taken off from Red Deer and flown southwest towards the town of Canmore. Nice smooth day. Oops, I jinked it. Traffic on 267 Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra is over Headwater Valley, 8,500 feet. We're tracking to the uh, southwest towards Canmar. Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra, 267 traffic. So are you able to check windy on there? Yeah. Does that look good? It does. I think we're getting blown around a little. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go up a little higher. I checked the wind at 10,000. We're at 85, so... Well, the quadding tracks must be down here. Yeah, lots of quadding places out here, I bet. Get down here. The what? It's jagged. Jagged, oh. Very jagged. Another, uh, we're coming up to a road here again pretty soon. Up to three miles. Oh, it's kind of nice. Nothing for miles, just us. Yep. A little bumpy, but it's very beautiful. Very nice. That was such a big updraft we hit, I had to pop my ears. <laughs> a little foggy there? Yeah, it's hazy up ahead. Hazy. But we're in it right now. It's just we can't see it because we're in it. Except I can see it. Yeah, okay. I can see all the mountains still really well. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I can see through it now. As we move down this valley, we become aware of a noticeable haze in the air and start to see some mining operations off to our left. I was aware of the blasting zone on my four-flight sectional map, and now we see the source of the blasting. What we have here is the Fording River coal mining operation, which employs about 1,200 people from Elkford and the surrounding towns. It was discovered in the late 1880s when a couple of prospectors hacked their way through the overgrown trails in the area to discover rich coal sources. Today the Fording River mine produces about 9 million metric tons of coal each year, worth about $1.4 billion. The coal from this mine is shipped to the west coast on rail cars, where it is loaded onto ships and transported to the Asia Pacific region, where it is primarily used for the making of steel. 
I also discovered there's a coal seam fire in this area that has been burning underground for many years. It is believed to have been started by a lightning strike back in 1969. Apparently there are thousands of coal seam fires burning around the world at any given point in time. Pretty busy down there, the road. Yeah, there's a lot of dump trucks just giving her. Tons. Yeah. Drive on top of those, all those edges. All the around and around. That's crazy. It's like they've been mining there for a lot of years. That is a massive mining area. It stretches for miles. Wow. There's, t there's quite a few of those buildings. Like there's bridges and up to. Like this is probably the fourth area of, with buildings that we saw. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's dusty in here. I bet you're right. That dust probably just gets yeah, carried it just up into the. Yeah, doesn't really look like. It's not fog. It no. just doesn't have the look of yeah. fog. So my question is, what is the source of the haze we're seeing? Is it dust from the blasting and mining operations, or is it perhaps smoke from the fire that's been burning underground for over 50 years? If you know, let me know in the comments. Ah, beautiful. I know. Hey? It is. Traffic in the area of Sparwood. They'll fix Ray Zulu Sierra Cessna 182 is at 9200 feet and we're tracking southbound. Uh, just over Sparwood. 267 traffic, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra. We are about 70 miles south of Coleman, tracking 070 southbound to Lethbridge at 11,500 feet. Gulf Quebec, Gulf Oxford, So here's the rest of our route. Fernie's just over this ridge. There's something at the bottom already. Oh, that's that Fernie. might be Fernie. That yeah. might be the. Yeah, that's Fernie. I was gonna say this rock looks familiar. Yeah. So that is that the ski hill, or is it on this side? I don't know. No, we'll keep an eye. I don't know where it is from Fernie. That does look a bit like a ski hill, though. Straight ahead. Like that many runs. Yeah, it's Where? not that big of a place. No. Okay. But keep your eye out. Yeah. I'd like to catch a picture of it. We should be able to spot it. It might be straight ahead. Hard to say. Party's not that big. Okay. That looks like a ski hill to me. It looks like a lodge, and I can see. Think I can see the things yeah, up the middle. Definitely is. It's a good angle to see it. It cut right through there. Yeah. Take a shortcut. Traffic in the Cranbrook area, Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra Cessna 182 is approximately 10 miles to the south of Cranbrook and we are tracking westbound, headed to Nelson. Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra, 267 traffic. That traffic on 1267. Uh, for uh, Nelson, can they uh, say your level? I'm uh, currently 10,000. Uh, I'm just past Caslo and routing to Elk Valley, so I'll be north, just north of your track, we're 11,500. Roger that, so he's a little here. Caslo? It's just north? Just north, yeah. Boy, Lake's pretty big, looks nice though. The trees around it. We have a couple of hotels to decide on. A kind of a uh, resort one. It's called Prestige. So there's a bit of a resort with the pool and overlooks the harbor. And that looks fairly decent. And it's around 200 to 280. And then if you have, um, you know, a health card, not a health card, but you know, if you work for health services. Then they give you a bit of a rate, so that's down to 158, which is nice, with uh, a view. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of like a resort. Another one that we could get is just like a bog down or so, it's a prestige inn, which is a sister hotel. 
and it's just over 100. So we'll just decide, we tend to be booked up both, so we'll just decide how long of a walk it is, what we think, etc. Yeah. Because the airport's right in town, we'll just wander around a little bit. Um, there is an outside patio at the bigger one, so because of the restrictions, the indoor restaurants are closed, so the restaurant there would be great. And there's also a little bit of a mini mall between the two as yeah. well. Yeah. And the weather's supposed to be around 25 degrees, so we will put on our bikinis, hey? I guess, our bikinis, yeah. Headed south, put on our bikinis. Yep. Yeah. In April. Can't keep us down. Nope. Going to the beach. And uh, last weekend I was in Calgary with my cousins and um, we got some tips from Jaden and Eden that um, the beaches are awesome, the town's awesome, there's a five mile point beach and um, yeah the airport's in town and wander around, they love it. Jaden's parents' parents are from around that area, Creston, I believe. So yeah. yeah. Some nice tips. Creston's below us still. Um. Not over there is Kristen. So the road's on this side of the lake. Oh, well, there's a ferry. Just wondering how the road, these people get to Nelson, they gotta take the ferry. Yeah, I, I remember that actually. Okay. I took a ferry. Oh. Wow, that's pretty down there. Lots of walking paths. Oh, is that ever nice? You see the beaches on this side. I like, can't see them, no. You can see them right go out into the water. See them? See them? Yeah. Oh, nice. Wow, this is pretty. Isn't it pretty? That's what Jeff said he said the last bit's the best. <laughs> this, but then I guess this is what he meant. Coming in over this lake. Okay, what's the frequencies, Kenneth? We're going to go to 123.2 Get there at 2.56 local time Well, I drove through here about 30 years ago 1985 and On holidays, I was living in Northwest Territories and I took a month off and I went to Vancouver Island Oh, I drove right. through Nelson on my way through and I said, definitely I'd like to work here. Stopped at the hospital, wrote out my application. They said, you're welcome. Start next week. Really? But of course I went back up to the territories, worked another year. So two years to the date, then I went to Australia, New Zealand and Asia for two years. So, yeah. But hey, Nelson's still here. Still here. What if they still have your application? Maybe. Traffic on 267 Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra, Cessna 182, so 20 to the east of Nelson. Just uh, turning down the valley, we're at uh, 5,900 feet in a descent. 267 traffic, Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra. 11 minutes, 500 feet per minute. We've got to drop 4,000 feet. That would, that would take 8 minutes. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going down about the right speed. Little town there called uh, Balfour. That's where the ferry is, I think. Yep, that is where the ferry goes to. Actually, it goes to Proctor. Boy, Jeff didn't steer us wrong as far as the beauty of this place right? goes. So this is his favorite place to, to fly to. But this is a pretty narrow valley. Currently 20. The wind is from the northeast. So I should fly past and uh, turn around. We will be on uh, left downwind for zero 04. Nelson traffic, Gulf x Zulu Sierra, Cessna 182 is approximately seven minutes to the east and we are inbound for a full stop landing. We'll be joining a left downwind for 04. Nelson traffic, Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra. Smooth and Check the of that trail, it's uh, Pasco 457, beach 1900, uh, 33 miles west of the field out of 14. 
south. Estimate the field at uh, 2202 local. I think there's the bridge right there. Yep. Are you going to fly over and around and back? That's my plan. See the airstrip. Can you? Yeah, it's on the far side. Should be on this side of the bridge. No, it's on the other side. Oh. It's kind of going on an angle like that. Oh, so we're going to be our ho ho our hotels on that side. Yeah. Oh. Elevation here is eighteen. Twenty-eight to the pattern. Twenty-eight hundred feet. Am I? Uh, Mixture richened up here. And my curb heats on. Put my prop forward. Instruments in the green. Gonna turn around, do you know? I'm gonna go up in there and turn around a bit. Nelson traffic, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sears on a right downwind for zero 04. Nelson. At this point, I'm officially out of my comfort zone. The space I'm in feels very confined. I have to execute a slow speed U turn just up ahead in what feels like a pretty narrow space. I have to veer to the right over this ridge to give myself enough room to turn around, all while making sure I have enough airspeed and I'm descending at the proper rate to still make the runway. This may be easy for an experienced pilot, but for me it's a completely new situation. As I would see throughout the weekend, planes run this pattern a lot different than I'm doing it here. Job. I just gotta find the airport again. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're high. I don't know if we can. I've just cut the power to idle, and I'm doing a hard slip to try and lose altitude quickly without gaining too much speed. Gulf X Ray Zulu here, just touched down 04, gonna backtrack. Nelson. But I got the wind right based on the weather. Oh. 
Nelson traffic, Gulf X-ray Zulu Sears, backtracking, 04 Nelson. Stop. That was something I've never done before. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs>